All right, I'm currently getting ready to go out. I haven't gone out in months. I kind of forgot how to do this whole thing. There was a point where I was going out a lot and then it's just kind of been status quo. So we're gonna pop out tonight. <laughs> Micah made me a little getting ready drink. I'm almost done with my makeup here. I thought it'd be fun to do a little vlogging like you're on my close friends, my private story. I actually don't even have one of those anymore. I used to have a private story. And then I was like, you know what? I have a total of like five friends. I can just tell them if something funny happens. So this vlog might be a little bit different from my other ones. We might get a little unhinged. I don't know. <laughs> we just don't know what to expect. Um, I'm getting anxious. I'm getting anxious. I don't know why. I just haven't gone out in so long. Forgot how to do the thing. Mm. This is what the makeup is looking like. I don't like to do too much when I go out because it's all gonna slide off my face when I get sweaty and start dancing too much. So, this is not my outfit. We're gonna, we're gonna pop off for the outfit a little bit. I don't even know why I bother trying to look all cute because as soon as I step in the establishment and like the body heat and I start dancing and then I get sweaty, it's just bad news. I think there was one night I came home from a night out and <laughs> I could like actually wring out my hair. Ew, this is gonna be fun. I don't do this too much anymore. So where's my setting spray? Hi. Whew, the elderly are going out tonight. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> All right, let's put on my little outfit. I have some plans here. Kind of feeling like doing a little mini skirt vibe. And then I'm trying to choose in between this like mesh shirt and then these identical white tops. I don't really know how much of a difference there is, but the tags are still on. Like what? What do we think about this? Am I gonna like, well, clearly I didn't go with any of the tops that I chose and now my room is a mess, but this is getting ready as a girl. <laughs> and Mike is not really helping. Do I wear this? Yes, I think you look really good. I like to feel tall and powerful when I go out, so I'm probably gonna wear some platform shoes. <laughs> Is like one shoulder doing too much? I like this. Yeah? Yeah. I like, I like whatever's going on here. <laughs> Do I wear a bra? No. <laughs> oh my god. The school system really made me believe that like a shoulder was doing far too much and like so provocative, but like. What? <laughs> oh, men in black. I feel like you can't go wrong. No, you can't. I miss seeing you in that. It's my oh my god, wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> I actually miss this. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are gonna be so proud of me and how fast I got ready. I got ready in 10 minutes, unheard of. Usually, the getting ready part of like going out is my favorite part of the night. We're on a we're on a mission tonight, so no time to dilly dag. Is that the word? Dilly dag? Is that dilly dilly am I wrong? Like don't dilly dilly dally. That's the word, yes. I'm just I'm shocked. Ten minutes. World record. Alright, I'm not doing a scrunchie. <laughs> Uh-oh. The gold chain is popping out to play today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like camera aside, you look so good. I think it's funny because normally in my vlogs, it's like, hey guys, very aesthetic, calming energy. And right now is the opposite. But you know what? I'm gonna wear these shoes. I wanna wear platforms. Or do I wear my Doc Martens? You think? When I used to go out before I was dating Micah, I would only wear my Doc Martens because if I needed to like defend myself, I would just take that heavy ass shoe and like, I never actually had to, but just, just the option. But now, got a little bodyguard energy going on. <laughs> it's too late to change my mind. I crashed my car this morning. No one got hurt except my ego a little bit. 
I was driving down my ramp out of the apartment this morning and the ramp is very curved, it's pretty tight. I was on my way to my Pilates class and I'm going down the ramp, I'm at the part where it starts to take a really like hefty curve and my hand was on the center console just like leaning there and I feel something tickling and I'm like, oh, must be a hair. I look down, a cockroach. And so what is a girl to do when she sees a cockroach crawling up her arm? And that being my knee jerk reaction, I like turned the wheel. Cause I was like, ah, cause my other hand was on the wheel. And the sound of my crushing car next to the concrete is quite the sound. I will never forget it. It, it sounded really bad and I just knew it was, but I was literally just sitting there like, okay, that just happened. I'm still gonna go to my Pilates class. I get there, I hadn't looked at the damage yet. And I was like, I'm gonna call my dad because what is a girl to do when she does something to her car or something's wrong with her car? You call your father. And I think he knew something was wrong because he was like, why are you calling me this early in the morning? Like I just, I, I knew that he knew there had to be a reason that I was calling. So I told him what happened and I was like, you know what, we're gonna look at it together. And so I get out of the car, I look at it. She's pretty bad. I'll insert a clip for you to see. Surprisingly, I didn't cry when it happened. I think just because I was like, well, there's nothing I can do now. At least no one got hurt. At the end of the day, like it's just a car, but fuck. Hey guys, my mom drove because I can't be trusted with cars today. <laughs> <laughs> to Aritzia we go. <laughs> been so good for so long about not feeding my shopping addiction and being very intentional about what I buy. So today felt like a little treat. One of the girls that works there, I have a relationship with. She gave me a very generous Aritzia gift card. I don't know how my life has come to this. Justin Bieber Believe album was playing the entire time. I was very happy. I picked out this linen little mini dress. It's so cute and darling. This dress is for a very special occasion. I don't know what that occasion is yet, but it's this beautiful silky black high neck, but it kind of has like that extra fabric to drape really nicely. And then the back, it's like a very deep V plunge. Something about this dress was, I've been very into skirts lately. So I picked out this midi, satin it's got a little tie skirt this top so cute it's a little see-through mesh top could wear it with a black bralette i feel like it's just very stylish and this one is a similar style with all the frilly and the bows but it's a little blouse and i think this is the piece i'm most excited about i have been obsessed with skirts recently mini skirts and i've kind of wanted to get a longer denim skirt for a while so this is a full length denim skirt she's quite the look the back has that open v thank you to aritzia and sam you guys are the best but anyway it is a friday night it's time to cause some chaos i don't know Finally watching the Barbie movie. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Hosting my first ever cycle class today, so we just got ready. Um, it's Michael's. Michael. Who's <laughs> Michael? I got so nervous. I got so nervous. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, it's Micah's first time cycling today. And I don't know what we're gonna tell her besides. 
So he's wearing his like football stuff. Super cool. <laughs> you should have worn your firefighter <laughs> costume. Costume? I'm hosting a donation ride for Maui Relief from the wildfires that happened in Lahaina. And it's a full class. It's a class with all of you. So I have some of my friends coming and then I posted about it on my Instagram. So I'll get to meet some of you guys today, which I'm really excited about. I'm also a little bit nervous. I think that's why I just called this man the wrong name. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> I I'm haven't- I'm coming for you, Michael. <laughs> Whoever the hell that is. I haven't done like a meet and greet situation in so many years. Actually, Michael was at my last one. Oh, funny. Funny. <laughs> All right, this vlog has truly just been all over the place, but honestly, so am I. So it's pretty fitting. I'm so excited. I'm going to my third and final little pottery lesson of this class pack that I did. And today I get to actually paint it. And I'm not really sure what kind of vibe I'm going for yet. I don't know what colors I'm feeling. We'll see. And now that this is my final lesson and I've kind of gone through the whole process, I definitely want, ow, ow. I definitely want to keep this hobby up and maybe learn how to make plates or cups or something. It's just been really nice having a hobby to look forward to once a week and have that kind of planned out. I didn't realize how much I wanted and needed a hobby in my life. So I think I'm going to continue doing that, which is really exciting that I found that. I'm glad I even tried it to begin with. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known how much I would enjoy it. So I'm off to the pottery studio. I'm not going to wear this just in case it gets dirty, but... I think I'm gonna wear this t-shirt. Not that I wanna get this dirty either, but maybe I won't. I'd be shocked. I added chicken obviously and then some onions to add some more zhuzh. I would have added mushrooms but I forgot to buy some so this is dinner and then I have some zucchini that I sauteed. I just spent the last 20 minutes in front of the TV peeling apart my split ends so back at it again. I get a lot of questions on how I grew my hair out one, it's not cutting it every time I was going through something, so that's obviously helped. But also, interestingly enough, I feel like if I don't cut it at least once every two or three months, then it doesn't grow as much. So I like to do a little trim here and there. That's what I'm going to do right now. My mom hates when I do this, so I know she's watching this, shaking her head, because she's like, Ava, you spend... $40 on a crop top, go spend $40 and get your hair professionally cut. And I'm like, but then I rob myself of the joy that I get cutting my own hair. I feel like I'll probably get my hair professionally cut one day again when it's for like a proper event. Maybe when I get married. So I'm probably not gonna get a professional haircut for a while. <laughs> All right, is it straight? I'm heading to my parents' house for a little bit because I want to hang out with them. I also want to see Coda. I haven't seen him in a while. So I'm going to pay them a little visit, which I'm really excited about. I just picked up this Wicoco coconut water. They have my favorite coconut water, except they only had with pulp, which pulp kind of makes me gag. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping it's not too bad. Let me know down below if you are a pulp with your orange juice kind of person or not, because I grew up not having pulp and I think that I have just built this like resistance to it. Anyway, we're gonna try it. This is what it looks like. Mmm, no pulp detected so far. Maybe they're all like hanging out at the bottom. I don't know, I'm not getting any pulp, so this is really good. I just got pulp. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. Gentle. Gentle. 
gentle. Oh, so <laughs> Come in. You wanna do a haul with me? I got a package from Abercrombie and Fitch to my parents' house, so I thought I'd unbox it here. Ooh. Hey, cute little baby tee. Me and these dang mini skirts. I can't get enough of, but this one kind of like cut up. <laughs> this super cute high neck. It's ruched on the top little tank top. And I've been eyeing this workout dress for a very long time. I think it's got some shorts underneath as well. Anyway, that is my little haul. You can borrow anything you want. It's Friday. Whoa. Whoa. Date night! Get in here, man. Get in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so strong!